here I am in West Roxbury, neighborhood of Boston. Uh, sunny Saturday. And this is the button, the TDR button, that I will be showing to people, asking them what they think about this button that says, let's remove the rich from power, have real, not fake democracy, with no rich and no poor. This is just to give a sense of where I am near the post office. Hi there. Hi. Could I ask you what you think about what this button says or a little video I'm making about what people think about it? Oh, well, what I think oh is that God. you can't do that. A person can't remove all the rich from power. Well, that's, that's but anyway, a... anyway, I also have if, to go if, to If it were possible, church, would you so think, I, it, if it happened, would you think it was a good idea to have real, not fake democracy? Real with democracy, no, I think, is a with, very good idea. With removing the rich from power and no rich and no poor? If that were possible, that would be good. Okay, so you like the idea, you just don't think it's possible. No, I, I just... Regarding that sentence right there, I, I just... I don't think we could do that. Okay, let me ask you just one second question. If you, if you knew for a fact that most Americans wanted to do this, although yeah. they thought it was impossible, but if you knew for a fact that most Americans did want to do this, would that make you feel a little more optimistic? That'd be great, yeah. Yeah. If they were aware and conscious yeah. and... I, I'm taking this video to show that actually most people do want to do it. Good. And if you go to the web page, you can see the video of your neighbors saying pretty much just what you FDR. said. FDR. Yeah, would you like the button? It's free. Okay. Here Thank you, you go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank Have you. a good day. Bye-bye. Hi, could I ask you what you think about this button, what it says? I'm what making a little video. It says, let's remove the rich from power, have real, not fake democracy, with no I, rich and no I poor. I agree that, yeah? with that. <laughs> Can I ask you just one second question? What? If you knew that a lot of people agreed with this, if you knew that, that, that in fact most people agreed with it, would that make you more optimistic that maybe it was possible for it to happen? Yes. Okay, would you like the button? It's free. Okay. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi there, I'm making a little video about what people think about this button. Would you care to tell me what you think about what it says? Let's remove the rich from power. No rich and no poor. Sounds good. Would you, can I ask one more question? If, if, you, if, you knew, if you knew that most Americans wanted to do this, would that make you feel more optimistic that it might be possible? Um, sure. Okay, would you like the button? Sure. It's free. Here you Thank go. You. Check out the web page at the bottom. You find it oh. interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hi. I'm making a little video about what people think about what this button says. Can you, you care to tell me? I mean, I agree with it. Finally. And, and you? <laughs> Thank you. Hi there. I'm making a video about what people think about this button. Would you care to tell me? Oh. Yeah, that's right. You like the idea? Yeah. Okay, you can have the button, it's free. Thank Could you. I ask you one more question? Uh -huh. If you knew that most Americans wanted to do what the button says, would that make you feel more optimistic that we could do it? Oh, yes. Of yeah? Course. Okay, thank well, you very much. Have a good day. Hello. I'm making a video about what people think about what this button says. Would you care to say? Let's remove the rich from power. Good. Thank you. Can I ask one more question? What? If you knew that most Americans wanted to do this, would that make you feel more optimistic it might be possible? Yes. Thank you. Would you like a button? Hi there. 
I'm making a little video about what people think about this button. Would you care to say? What is this? Uh, let's remove the rich from power. I like it. <laughs> Could I ask you one more question? Sure, why not? Uh, if you knew that most Americans agreed with this button that says not only let's remove the rich from power, but let's have real, not fake democracy with no rich and no poor. How would you, you would you feel more optimistic it could happen? I'm very optimistic about the democracy here, but real and fake. I mean, who only define? Who you know depends on how you define who's real and who's fake. Well, what do you what do you what do you think? What do we have now? Uh, I, I I like the democracy that works here. I mean, I think it's representative, but it's generally a workable democracy. I come from India, so. Yeah. Uh, the democracy there is much less amenable to the common people. I think it, you can make it work by people such as you. You know, you're doing this on the street, so... So you like what the button says, though? I do. So, yeah, I would do. you like a button? No, I'm good. It's got an interesting <laughs> web page. Well, I think, BJ, would you like a button? My son is very politically that yeah. interesting. Right. Okay. My Thank husband is, too. And Thank I just you. can't believe they have that over there. Thank you very much. No Goodbye. Hi there, making a little video of what people think about this button. Would you care to say? Let's remove the rich from power. I say bring back Glass Steagall. <laughs> okay, would, would you like the button? It's a good idea? Sure. <laughs> okay, can I ask you? It's, you know, it says let's remove the rich from power. Unless it's an FDR. Have real, not fake democracy with no rich and no sure. poor. Good idea? Yeah, of course. And if you thought that. I mean, like getting rid of Citizens United and all that all stuff. All that. If you thought that. If you thought that most Americans agreed with doing what this button says, would that make you feel more optimistic it could be done? I think most Americans do agree. The question is whether we are more concerned with that than spectator sports and media soap operas. Okay, <laughs> well, uh, take a look at the webpage, pdrboston.org. Sure. I think you'll like it. Thank okay, you. Take care. Have a good one. You too. I'm making a video of what people think about this button. Care to tell me what you think? Good idea or bad idea? Um, let's remove the rich from power. Very interesting. Good luck with that. Thank you. Is it a good idea or a bad idea, do you think? Depends on who they are. Well, the billionaires. Well, not all billionaires are bad. Not all poor people are good. So, what, so what do you think about a movement that has this as its goal? Is it a good movement or not? Probably not. I think there's other ways to decide who should be in power than by how much money they have either way. Okay, thank you. Yep. Come on. Hi there, I'm making a little video about what people think about the, this button. Would you care to tell me what you think about what it says? Uh, I think it's a bit too simplistic. Let's remove the rich from power. You know, some people work for their money, some people make money. Would it be... Did, would no. you... Hi there, I'm making a little video about what people think about what this button says. Would you care to tell me what you think? Well, if you remove the rich from power, that there'd be nobody running things. <laughs> well, because they run everything. The idea would be to have, like the button says, real, not fake democracy, with no rich and no poor, so that so that uh, the people running things would be, uh, you know, ordinary people uh, who well, are. Well, you know, that's up to our local political councils and legislatures and the and the Congress. Okay. Well, to let work me work on these. You know. Let me just ask you: Do you do you think the what this button says, is it a good idea or a bad idea? You know, outright, uh, you just can't do the whole thing, like remove them all from... Well, let's put aside how to do it or whether it's possible or not. Just the basic goal. Do you think if people are trying to make this happen, would you say that they're trying well, to make take something... take Warren Buffett, you know, the big... Financier, yeah, the, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, he's a powerful man, wealthy, and he, and he seems to be a proponent of, of our economic system. He's very wealthy, but you wouldn't want to remove him from power. <laughs> well, if there was no rich and no poor, he would not be richer than everybody else. He'd be like everybody else. He, he would he would be able to have a say in society just like everybody else instead of being a person with so many billions of dollars that his voice counts billions of times more than your voice or my voice. No rich and no poor. 
What would that leave, the middle class? <laughs> Well, we'd all be, I guess you could say we'd all be middle class or whatever. Well, you, you know, want to use. as a matter of fact, uh, that's a little gripe I have. The recent uh, politicking nationally and locally, state, they talk about uh, saving the middle class. Well, I grew up, my parents, my grandparents were working class. They went to work every day and they had their pay envelope at the end of the week and they weren't poor, they, they provided for their family. So it amuses me to hear uh, a polisher say, uh, we've got to preserve and protect the middle class. The working class, economically, if you look in your computer and spell it right out, the working class is bigger than the middle class. Oh yeah, for every. But, they, but why did they shun it? For what, every self-employed. Is, is work a, a nasty word? <laughs> for every self-employed, middle-class person like a doctor or a lawyer, or a small businessman, there's hundreds, if not thousands, of people who get a paycheck, who work for an employer, who are working. Yeah, well, you know, the work. I think of the factories and the retail stores, and the, uh, not not everybody is. Uh, qualified as, as middle class, like, you know, with degrees and uh, that's all right. But uh, to, to sort of avoid it when they're talking about the needs of our, of our people, it's the, uh, now with this uh, move on, uh, uh, what is the total, 15, 15. Dollars per hour minimum yeah, wage. Now, I agree with that. Of course, that, that people should get more. But, it's but such a small demand, you can't support well, yes, a family on that. You, you, you see the people they quote, uh, interview about it, and you, and you learn that here's a young man, a young woman, and they got, they got to pay the rent and this, that, and the other. And they, they're, they're working two jobs. Right. You know, they'll, they'll work in the evening, they'll work at, at the uh, shopping plaza or in a retail store. Then in the daytime, they're working in a fast food. Right, that's that's how they took away the eight-hour day. They made each job eight <laughs> hours, but now you got to work two of them. Let me ask you something. If, if, if society were based on the buttons principle, that there was no rich and no poor, and what that actually means, you can go on our webpage and read more about it, is that it's, it's based on the principle from each according to ability to each according to need, so that what you need, if you're contributing reasonably by working reasonably, you know, or you're retired, or you're a child too young to work, uh, then you can take what you need reasonably and, and live a, as decent a life as anybody else. So the children of a janitor, for instance, would have just as good uh, housing and education and vacations and health care as the children of a doctor. Does that seem right to you? Well, my dad was a, and grandfather, they were working at and my family, the, there were nine of us growing up, we were working class, but we knew what it required for our parents to earn their working class paycheck and raise the family uh, and took opportunity of the schooling that was there for us and saw that going beyond, uh, you know, secondary school, we went to college. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to pin you down. Do you mind if I try to pin you down? I, I want the people who watch my video to know if you are a person who thinks this Buttons idea is a good idea or a bad idea. And I haven't gotten you to say yes uh, or no yet. No, I can't take it on a blanket basis. No, I can't. Yeah? Because the, the rich are there. The, the poor you will always have with you. I think it says that in the Bible. <laughs> so so you're, you're, you're going back to the question of whether it's possible or not which is a, an important question, I don't deny, but if it were possible, if it were possible, would you, would you like it to happen? In utopia? Well, call it a utopia well, if you utopia. want. <laughs> but the utopia means perfect. This wouldn't you know, be perfect, it would just be better in my opinion. I was but. just reading this morning, refreshing my mind about Joe Stalin. Well, he was a bad if, guy. You know, oh, he, he was a mass murderer. Yes. He, he, he wiped out Farmers. Now, it was anti-Semitic. Now this is the opposite of communism. Can I explain why? 
Can I explain why? It's the opposite of communism. Communism is based on Marxism. Mar Marxism, Marxist idea, is that society will, will change into a classless good society in spite of the fact that ordinary people like you and me do not particularly care about that or want it to happen. And so the communist notion is that in order to make things go, go in the right direction, you have to have a government that's composed of an intellectual elite, the, the members of the communist or Marxist party, who know better than ordinary people what needs to be done, who, who do things they say, this is but for your own... they were privileged people, they lived high on the hog. Yes. Yes, With and, and, and everyone, everyone knows George Orwell's famous animal farm and, and some animals were more equal than others, <laughs> right? But you know, George Orwell wrote another book which they never have children in our public schools read, although they, they always have them read Animal Farm where he said that some were more equal than others. The other book that he wrote is called Homage to Catalonia. It's about his actual experience in Spain when he fought on the side of the anarchist-led workers and peasants against the against the Spain. yeah and they had a society that was based on the principle at least in, in about half of Spain for about three years from each according to ability to each according to need and and George Orwell fought for that uh, literally in, in the militia and and wrote a book about how how good it was and this book is never uh, put into the hands of, well, of American school children. You know, you take like from each uh, according to his ability and each to his need. They, they had the Brook Farm experiment out here uh, on uh, Baker Street. The the, uh, the that church, uh, the Unitarian. There, there was a group of them that were uh, those me uh, ministers and and transcendentalists, and they went out to Brook Farm and got it established and everybody fit into this idea of pitching in and showing up but it didn't last very long because people who were contributing saw that there were too many laggards and participants in the project that didn't pull their share of the load well, uh, it see, fell apart. The, the principle of from each according to ability to each according to need has that first part, from each according to ability. And what it means, which is very important, is that if you don't contribute your fair share, you don't have a right to, to share the to share well, in the wealth of society. Now, maybe the people running what you were describing didn't quite get that point. Maybe that was the problem. Well, I... You look into the history of it, it's, it's sort of a topic for the West Roxbury area because these, a lot of these ministers that were involved at that time in the 19th century, uh, they, they were sort of the elite intellectually, authors and ministers and so on, and, and they thought it was a great idea and they went to the trouble of going over and setting up, but it fell apart. Yeah, well maybe it fell apart for just exactly the reason you just identified is that they were saying, oh, everyone just take what you want and you don't have to contribute. Well, you know, I get this basic thought. To err is human. Human beings are flawed. They're not perfect. And you, you can't really expect that across the board uh, people are going to fall into line and do what they should. <laughs> but it sounds to me, see, you, you correct me if I'm wrong, but it does sound to me like you're saying that society should be based on the principle from each according to ability to each according to need and that and that you are emphasizing by talking about the failure of that of that project well, long ago that if it's not based on from each according to ability it won't work which I agree with however you have to give rewards to the talented and the hard-working people who establish yeah. businesses or went to research and by nature, they emerge as an elite group. Uh, well, you know, can't deny that. you know, Jonas Salk invented the uh, polio vaccine. He didn't get a dime for it, and that wasn't why he worked on it either. And you know, who would you rather go to? To a doctor who became a doctor to help people be healthier and enjoy the respect 
that comes from having that skill and using it for that noble purpose, or a doctor who just went to medical school because he knew he could get rich by being a doctor. I suppose, I suppose there are a few that do that. <laughs> but who would you rather have for your doctor? Well, naturally. So There are many doctors that, that are well motivated, yeah. you know. Well, listen, I guess I'm going to have to put you down. I'm trying, I'm trying to, uh, to help my, the people watching this video to, to know whether you, whether you think that a... Let me put it no, this on way. On a blanket basis, no. Yeah? Okay. All right. Okay. And that's because why? Because... And why, why do you say no? Well, because of, of, of the, the nature of human beings and uh, in our democracy, the, the way it functions. Uh, there's opportunity there, and then there's neglect. Yeah. You get both. Okay, well, I thank you for your conversation. Would you like a button? It's free. <laughs> okay, take, take care. Have a good thank day. You. Goodbye. Hi, I'm making a video of what people think about the button. Care to tell me? A video about what people think about the button. Could you care to tell me? Hi there, I'm making a video about what people think about this button. Would you care to tell me? Hello, I'm making a video about what people think about this button. Would you care to tell me? Hi there. I'm making a little video about what people think about this button. Would you care to tell me? No, sorry. Hi there, would you care to tell me what you think about the button? Hi there, I'm making a video about what people think about this button. Would you care to say what you think about it? Hi there, I'm... I'm making a video what people think about the button. Hi there, I'm making a little video about what people think about this button. Would you care to tell me what you think about it? Hello, I'm making a video about what people think about this button. Could I ask you? No, thank you. Care to tell me what you think about this button? I'm making a little video of what people think about it. Hi there, you got time to tell me what you think about this button? Hi, I'm making a video about what people think about this button. Would you care to say what you think about it? <laughs> I don't have my reading glasses. I'll read it out loud to you. <laughs> no, that's okay. Hi there. I'm making a little. I'm making a little video about what people think about what this button says. Would you care to tell me? What is it? I'm making a little video about what people think about what this button says. Oh yeah. Would you care to tell me? I'm not not right now. Sorry. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi there. I'm making a video about what people think about this button. Would you care to say? Uh, no. Thank you, sir. Hello, I'm making a video about what people think about this button. Could I hear what you say? Oh, thank you. Hi there. Hello. Hi there, I'm making a video about what people think about this button. Anyone care to say? Hi there, I'm making a video about what people think about what this button says. Hello, I'm making a video about what people think about what this button says. Would you care to say? Uh, no. <laughs> Hi, I'm making a video about what people think about the button. Hi there, I'm making a video about what people think about what this button says. No. Care to say? Uh, Hello, I'm making a video of what people think about what this button says. Would you care to say? Hi there, I'm making a video of what people think about this button. Would you care to say? Hi there, I'm making a video about what people think about the button. Hello, I'm making a little video about what people think about this button. Hi there, I'm making a little video about what people think about what this button says. Could I get your opinion? Thank you. Hi there, could I ask you what you think about this button for a little video? 
Hi there, I'm doing a little video about what people think about this button. Would you care to say? I'm sure it's fine, sir, but um, I'm not allowed to comment. It looks good. Hi there. I'm making a little video about what people think about what this button says. Would you care to say? Hello. I'm making a little video what people think about this button. Hi there. Can I ask what you think about this button?